Hi everyone, it's Anya from DV Lover. In this video, I would like to give you an updated walkthrough of all the features of my plugin for the DV team, the DV Toolbox. On my YouTube channel and on the plugin documentation page, you'll find additional in-depth videos about each plugin feature separately. But here I would like to give you an overview, show you all the ways the toolbox can help you uh, build your DV websites uh, quicker and add additional customizations without writing any custom code. So let's look inside. There is quite a lot of features to go through. So I included a detailed timeline in the video description. You might find that useful. Uh, here is a plugin demo page. It was built with the DV team and I haven't added a single line of custom code uh, to create it. So everything you see here was made with DV and using the a toolbox uh, plugin uh, features. So um, let me show you uh, how it works. So once you install and activate uh, the plugin, a new dashboard page will appear under DV, DV toolbox. And this is the main uh, settings page for the plugin. And how it works is most of the features once enabled allow you to further customize it in the team customizer. So first off, let's start with the login page customization. If I enable that option and save settings, I can use this um, icon to take me to the team customizer. And here I will have the option to edit this uh, default login screen in WordPress. So under DV Toolbox Global Login Page, I can change that logo, change the background for the entire page here, add an image as a background, change the form fields, labels, the button, the links, uh, customize it to look completely different than the default uh, login page. In addition, you have the option to change the default uh, logo URL because this by default uh, directs to WordPress org website. So you can choose uh, the link to go to your homepage or to completely different URL if you like. Uh, next option is uh, layouts shortcode. So if I enable the shortcodes and save the settings page, and if I go to DV library, you'll see that there is a new shortcode column available in the uh, layouts list. So I have some basic uh, sample layout here. And if I would like to display this layout, for example, inside a module like a toggle module or tabs module or maybe as a widget in a sidebar, I could copy that shortcode and place it in any of these uh, places. So I think it's very useful. You can, uh, like I said, place modules inside the modules. That would be the most common use case for, for, those, uh, th for that shortcodes. Okay, so back to the settings uh, page, we have the option to hide projects. If you're building a website for client, you may uh, not uh, want to use projects. Uh, you can disable that and hide it from the dashboard here. But you can use the project post type, but rename it to something different. So instead of projects, you could have like properties and um, list your um, houses available for for sale or rent or whatever, like any um, custom post type name uh, you can uh, imagine you can choose here and also change the icon. Uh, so that's all very easy using that options here. Um, toolbox allow you to enable the SVG file support and uh, also 
the font files uploads. So you might uh, encounter an issue when trying to upload a custom font into the DV Builder uh, that this file type is not supported by WordPress because of the security risks. But here you can simply enable it and uh, once you save, you'll be able to use SVG images and upload your custom fonts to the builder. Next, in the global section, we have an option to add a preloader to uh, our website. You can choose one of the 25 different uh, loading animations or use your own image if you like. You can also further customize uh, this uh, mm, preloader screen by changing the background color and spinner color in the theme customizer. You can change the transition type and speed and also uh, use it only on the home page if, uh, if that's what uh, you're looking for. Next feature is custom pop-ups. So any layout saved in the DV library can be used as a pop-up. You can have up to five different uh, pop-ups. And once you uh, choose your layout, layout here, all you need to uh, trigger it is to set a link URL to hash pop-up one, for example. So if you add a link uh, like that anywhere on your website, it will load that layout inside a pop-up. You can also, uh, in the theme customizer, you would have the option to customize the pop-up background and uh, the close uh, icon colors. Next, we have social icons customizations. So if you enable uh, that uh, option here and save the settings page, there will be actually three different places in the theme customizer where you will be able to edit the social icons appearance. So if I go to the team customizer, the default social icons are displayed in the footer and in the header if you're using the secondary, uh, secondary navigation. But uh, in the toolbox header, header social icons settings, you can move icons to your primary navigation and display it next to your main menu. You can change the um, icon size, color, color on hover, and also add uh, uh, animation on, uh, on hover, like uh, this subtle grow effect, for example. In the footer, you have an option to customize footer bottom bar. Uh, for example, center align everything in the default bottom bar. And as uh, for the social icons, you can uh, add more spacing between icons and the rest of the page. You can change the icon size, colors, background color, border radius, border width, uh, border colors, icon uh, padding, spacing between icons, uh, hoover uh, styles as well. So you have all the possibilities to uh, change the look of that element to match the rest of your page very easily. Toolbox adds an additional place where you can display your social icons and that is the mobile menu. So if you navigate to mobile, mobile menu, social icons, you can check the option to add icons to the default mobile menu. And this will display the icons right below your mobile navigation. And again, you have all sorts of different customization uh, options available to align icons, to edit it appearance, uh, font size colors and all that here as well, edit it separately for the mobile menu. Back on the uh, plugin dashboard, you can choose to uh, open the social links in a new uh, browser window and also add additional uh, social icons for uh, these social platforms. The next uh, global feature is sticky elements. 
So once enabled, there are two types of sticky elements you can use with DV Toolbox. The first one is a simple sticky elements that stick inside the container. All you need to do is add a CSS class of DTB sticky to any element, preferably to module or a column, and it will stick uh, upon scroll, but it will be contained in its parent. So uh, you can choose an offset from the top if you have a fixed navigation. And uh, let me save that and show you sample page. I've added the D DTB uh, hyphen sticky class to the column here and also additional one below. And if I scroll down, you'll see that this uh, content of this column is stick to the top and stops being sticky once it reaches the end of its parent the section and the same happens here on that column and that would be the simple sticky element and the second type of sticky element is the global type so if i enable that you'll see that you have the option to assign the uh, id or a selector for the global sticky element and also for the push, push up uh, container. Uh, so the this type of sticky element will be sticky uh, relative to the page window, not the container it's placed in. So if I save that, let me show you an example. The uh, stick this ID is added to this image here. Let me refresh. And this element will be fixed at the top until it reaches the element with the unstick CSS class, which is this uh, last section here. So as you can see, I'm scrolling past its container, the section here, and it is uh, fixed uh, always. So you can have one ty uh, global type of sticky element and multiple simple sticky elements. You also have the option to use uh, custom selectors. Uh, additional to DTB sticky class, you can, for example, assign a sidebar or uh, element that you cannot control its uh, class. You can add it uh, here. And you can also change the mobile breakpoint. By default, it won't be sticky below uh, 980 pixels, but you can adjust that to your needs. The next feature is an option to customize password protected uh, form. First, let me show you how the default password protected page looks. So this is uh, the default form. You'll see if you add a password to a page and uh, it doesn't look very pretty. And if you used a DV builder to create your page content, it's even worse because that form is full width and you don't have the option to edit it with the builder. So if you enable the password protected form uh, customization here, you have an option to change the content, change the title, the message, the uh, button and input uh, values, uh, and also even add an image like a logo or whatever image you would like. So let's save that. And now if I refresh my sample page, you will see a nice looking form, which we can further customize. So also here, we can use the theme customizer to edit that uh, form appearance even further. So in the DV toolbox, global password protected form section, we can change the background color change the spacing, the width of the form, change the alignment, center align everything, for example, change the image size and spacing, change fonts, font size, font colors for the message and for the title separately, input field, uh, 
colors and fonts as well and button and button colors border all that all the settings are av available here to customize this page uh, to your liking so back on the global DV toolbox settings page the next uh, option is to is a particles background so uh, if i enable it i can uh, customize the effect in the theme customizer but to display it on a page i need to use this id i will save that and now let me show you a sample page so the section has this navy background and the row is full width and the row has this id the particles bg1 id added and uh, we can uh, enable team customizer to edit that uh, effect uh, further so in dv toolbox global moving particles background section we can change the number of particles the color opacity shape size speed the width of lines, the colors of the lines, opacity and the interactivity type. It could be none, grab, bu bubble or repulse. So if I hover, it can um, interact with my uh, mouse cursor. The effect can be added to two sections on a page, the one uh, with the ID of particles bg1 and the second section with particles bg2 uh, and one last element on the global settings uh, page is custom browser scroll bar if i enable and save i can go into the theme customizer in the global section browser scroll bar let's actually open a page that have enough content so you can see the scroll bar uh, and you can change its width and the colors and the shadow color and you have this nice looking scroll bar that can match the rest of your page next section in the toolbox dashboard includes header customizations so first off we have the option to add different hover effects to your main menu so for example this underline hover effect if i save the settings and navigate to the theme customizer i can edit the the effect even further and it will apply both to the default navigation as well as your header which you can build inside the theme builder all you need is a custom css class added to the menu module so here in the header section primary navigation menu we can change the font weight text transformation change the uh, uh, colors uh, the underline color underline height width uh, make it rounded and also change the offset of the underline which is useful uh, especially if you are using the um, team builder menu you can uh, because that menu can be at different height with that uh, setting you can adjust that offset you can keep the hover uh, style on active item or choose to uh, show or hide it if the menu has the drop down menu next we have the option to uh, enable custom fixed header there are two types of fixed header one uh, it's a section that will slide down after your scroll as a set a number of pixels further down the page the section will slide down from the top and stay fixed and the second uh, section uh, would be always fixed you can use one of these two css classes on any section and uh, in addition you have the option to move the page content below the fixed header 
uh, when a section is fixed, everything uh, goes underneath it. But if you're not using the transparent menu, then you might want to move your content below the header. So everything is always visible. We have also the option to customize the drop down menus. So let me show you. I will save that. I've created a new menu that uh, has a drop down. And as you can see, it already uses these uh, custom styles, which I can further edit using uh, all the options available uh, here from the toolbox. So I can change the alignment. Uh, I can center align, center align it center align the text inside, change the font, shadow, the width of the menu, make it uh, wider if uh, the menu items uh, text is long, change the colors, uh, hover style, all that. So it's uh, very easy and uh, it can uh, change the look of your drop down menus to match the rest of your site very easily. Next, we have the option to add call to action button to our menu. It can automatically be added uh, to the first last uh, of menu items or using a CSS class if you want to target specific item. So let me add that to the last menu item and save. And now if I uh, refresh my uh, customizer screen, you will see that the last menu item is uh, actually a button now and we have the option to edit it. Change the font, font weight, size, text transformation, colors, background colors, border, and also add a hover effect to it. So you can customize it to your liking. Next option is an option to change the logo on fixed menu. So if I uh, choose that option and save settings and open a sample longer page, you'll see that this is the default logo. And when I scroll down, it changes to a different logo. So it's very useful if you are using a different background color, for example, and it will apply to the default DV navigation the drop down menus, the call to action can be added to the menu module, but uh, this fixed uh, logo change will only work with the default uh, fixed nav. There is also an option to uh, enable overlapping logo effect. If I choose that and save the settings, you will see that it puts my logo into this um, overlapping section and we can customize it in the theme customizer. Change the size, background color, uh, um, customize the shadow behind it. So it's uh, very uh, easy as well. And as a last option, we have uh, a custom layouts and, and any Divi library layout can be added as before or after your main navigation. It will apply both to the standard uh, DV navigation as well as your theme builder uh, headers. So you can choose a layout here and it will be displayed globally across your website before or after your header. There are additional uh, header customizations available in the theme customizer in the header we can, um, we have a default DV header section that changes the uh, header shadow, this, this single pixel line here. It's actually a shadow. If we add a blur, you'll see that this can change. And also the fixed navigation uses a different shadow and we can customize, uh, change the color, offset, uh, blur, size, or disable that entirely here. So um, there's the default DV header section and also a top bar, secondary nav uh, styling options. We can hide top bar on scroll. So when the navigation gets fixed, the secondary bar is no longer visible. We can change the font, uh, the colors of the links uh, and uh, hover and, and so on. So these are additional uh, customization options available in the theme customizer uh, by default in the 
DV toolbox. Next uh, settings section includes customizations for the footer. First, we have the option of the sticky footer. This moves the footer to the bottom when there is not enough uh, content to fill the page. So let me show you here on the home page. The footer is actually in the middle of my screen because there is uh, not enough content to move it further down. So if I enable that and save, it will push my footer to the bottom. Next is a footer reveal effect that hides the footer below uh, the content and reveals it when you scroll. Let me save and show you on this longer page. This will also apply to the default footer as well as any footer built with the team builder. Next, we have an option to customize footer menu and widgets. Let me enable that and show you. I've assigned a footer menu and also added a widgets to the footer so you can see uh, it better. And now in the DV toolbox, footer, footer widgets, you'll have additional customization options to change your uh, widget headers, even add a box behind it or an underline, the divider, change its uh, length, color, uh, make it rounded, change the uh, little icon next to the menu uh, widgets, change the, obviously the colors and the text and for the footer menu you can customize the font, uh, the alignment, uh, make the uh, everything center aligned. You can add a shadow behind the menu, change the uh, hover color background for example. Let's try with something like that. So customize this menu uh, to your liking and to match the rest of your design very easily. Next, we have the option to customize the back to top button. So this will only work if you first enable the back to top button in the theme options. And you can see how that looks uh, on the toolbox page, for example. As you can see, uh, you can change your icon, uh, background, uh, shadow, add a hover effect. And uh, additionally, you can also use a different URL. So instead of um, scrolling back to the top, you can link it to a separate page, for example, contact form. And also you can use text instead of an icon. So uh, there are a lot of uh, customization options in the theme customizer for that as well. The last footer uh, related uh, feature uh, includes custom layouts. So similar to header, you can include any layout from the DV library before or after your footer. That includes the default DV footer as well as the footer built in the team builder. Next, we have a mobile section that includes uh, different uh, customizations uh, for the mobile devices. So first we have mobile browser theme color. You can select a color and that um, only applies to um, mobile browsers on Android devices. You will see that it, your uh, browser can have a different color once you choose it here. Next, we have mobile menu customizations. There is quite a lot of different um, controls and options here. So I'll try to be brief and uh, give you an overview of what's available. First, you can uh, change your breakpoint. So by default, the 980 pixels, your uh, navigation will change to the hamburger uh, version. And you can uh, change that for example, if you have many menu items that um, wrap to the second line and you want to display your uh, mobile menu earlier, you can uh, increase that value here. 
you have the option to uh, enable custom mobile menu style. So once enabled, let me save that and show you real quick. Uh, this is your default uh, mobile menu in DV. And if I refresh the page, that is how the uh, mobile menu look, uh, looks with the toolbox uh, enabled. You can control the colors, the um, fonts, uh, font weight, the call to action colors, uh, all sorts of different options, control the uh, height and the shadow and the background color behind the mobile menu bar. Uh, fix the mobile menu bar. There is a lot of settings. For example, that is how your menu could look um, once customized. Uh, and it will apply both to the default DV navigation as well as your menu modules you'll use uh, in the DV Team Builder. So back here, you have even more options if you uh, enable additional styling options with a separate mobile menu. Let me show you. You can assign a mobile menu which is different than the menu you're using for your desktop version. So for example, you might want to have less menu items in your mobile version. You can choose your menu here or just leave it at default to display the same uh, menu as on the desktop version you have the option to include additional elements inside the mobile menu. You can add website logo, search bar, social icons, and even widget areas. Let me sh save that and show you. Now, if I refresh that page, inside my mobile menu, I have my website logo, search bar, uh, my menu items, call to action button and my um, social icons. But that's not all. Uh, as I said, you have widget areas. So using the um, DV short codes, I can display uh, any layout from my library inside my mobile menu. So my sample layout in the appearance widgets, you will see two additional widget areas before mobile menu and after mobile menu. So let's say I want to include my uh, layout after my menu items. I would insert the HTML widget, paste my shortcode, save. And back here, if I refresh the page, this is my layout uh, added after my navigation. Obviously that layout doesn't work well on mobile, uh, but you can design your layout using the DV Builder easily. And that's not it. You can customize everything about that mobile menu in the Team Customizer. So let me show you. Toolbox mobile and here you'll find all these different options which you can customize like i said the mobile menu bar the icons that are appear here mobile menu container you can make your mobile menu full width which is by default or you can change its width and make it aligned to uh, either right left or center right now it takes only 240 pixels from the side you can change the background, but not only color, you can add an image, you can uh, add all the settings uh, about that image, you can even use a gradient or gradient overlay uh, next uh, in, in the background. So there are many different ways you can style the container itself. You can adjust the padding, the margin, uh, add shadow uh, next to it. Uh, if it's not full width, then you can display shadow. And there is all sorts of different animations you can choose for your uh, menu. The default is simple fade in, fade out, but there are all different slide-ins, bouncing and swinging options available. Let's say you want this to slide in from right and then bounce, bounce out 
right. That is how it would look. You can play with that, but that's not it. You can enable the full page animation. So um, you can animate the, your entire website content with, with along with the menu, like, like that. So it's very, uh, there are, you can slide it from different uh, sides. You can add an overlay when it's open and uh, that's only for the container. You can customize the logo, uh, size, uh, alignment, add margin, the menu links. The container itself can be customized. You can change the font, text alignment, uh, colors, padding, uh, border around the items. There are really hundreds of different controls available. You can customize your call to action button. So if you're using a call to action, you can change it appearance, align it, uh, change the spacing, uh, fonts, color, everything about that button. and. Uh, as well as your search bar inside the mobile menu. You can uh, edit the color, the size, the spacing, the icon, everything. And uh, the widgets, there are, right now we are, uh, let me change, actually change that to a text widget. So back here, after mobile menu, let's add a text widget. and remove the HTML. So uh, sample title, this is a message inside the mobile menu. Okay, and now back to the DV toolbox mobile. You'll see this is my uh, text widget and I can customize customize the font, font weight, color, uh, at margin. So everything is very easy to customize as well as the social icons. You have all the uh, controls available to customize the look of that menu. And this mobile menu version will work both with the default DV navigation as well as the team builder header menus. So that's really great, I think. That's not all. <laughs> there is additional option to use custom menu trigger. Let me show you. If I enable that and save settings, actually I will show you this along with custom hamburger icon because you can choose a different animation for your hamburger icon, but not only that, you can actually change the appearance of the, that icon. So let's save that. And back in the team customizer, mobile, you will see that there is the fixed uh, button with the hamburger icon here. It replaces the default hamburger icon. You can change the position of that uh, button, the colors. Let me show you. Mobile menu trigger. Let's say I want this to be uh, black so we can see it better. And on hover, it could be semi transparent. So this menu trigger will display uh, all, will be always uh, visible. It's fixed uh, when you scroll down. You can move it around change its width, height. You can even add text. So if we add a text, now we have to change the text color. And now uh, also the width. Like this. So it's very easy to edit 
and there is a lot of different uh, styling options. The text can be, be um, above, below or uh, on either side of the icon. You have an option to change the font, uh, colors, uh, border, add a shadow to that um, trigger icon. And as for the hamburger icon, this is the fun one. You can customize its uh, width, height, the spacing between lines. So let's say I want my icon to be longer and only one pixel, uh, but with bigger space between. You see, completely different look. So you can really match this to uh, work with any uh, website design. We can make it thicker and uh, round it. So completely different icon. Uh, you can customize it. It's really fun. You can change the colors, obviously. So uh, I think that is a really fun uh, feature you like. This applies to uh, both the default and the theme builder, uh, the default navigation. The change logo on mobile option uh, would apply only to the default nav because you can assign your um, logo in the menu module. But with the standard TV navigation, you have the option to change your logo image for the mobile menu version. There is also an option to uh, nest the submenu items as in the toolbox demo page. You see that documentation has different menu items and uh, there are hidden. Uh, you have to click the icon to reveal more items and you can customize the colors, obviously the fonts, everything about that effect as well. The next mobile uh, improvement is custom column count. So once enabled, you have additional CSS classes, which you can add to row settings to change the column structure for mobile on that row. So you can have two, three, four or five columns for tablets and phones and also change the breakpoint between when it goes from desktop to tablet and from tablet to phone. And with this additional um, option here, there are even more classes. If you want to use different width, like one third and two thirds on tablet and phone. So it's also available here. The next option is the parallax effect, which is disabled on mobile by default. We can enable it and any uh, background image when you uh, use a parallax effect on desktop and add uh, this class to that element, it would all also display as a parallax background on your mobile device. There are additional uh, CSS classes uh, which you can enable uh, to help you with um, words breaking onto the new lines or if you want to keep them <laughs> on one line or add hyphens to break them to separate lines and also to reverse columns order for mobile. So these are useful CSS classes which you can uh, enable. Next we have blog related toolbox options. So first custom post meta. Once enabled it will add icons to the default post meta uh, section. So that's uh, how it looks by default. If I refresh the page, you can see the icons and you can customize the size, the colors in the theme customizer. Next, we can enable uh, blog list customizations. This will apply both to the default uh, archives as well as the blog modules if you're using the theme builder to um, design your uh, categories page, for example. All you need is a custom CSS class added to the blog module to apply the same customizations to, uh, to that uh, module as well as the default uh, archives. 
there is also uh, different layout options you can choose so let's start with this save settings and now if we go to the theme customizer let me show you the available options so this is the default look and now in the block uh, section of the toolbox settings we can customize the post title font the post uh, content we can hide the excerpt on categories for example there are many different controls available here we can add a read more button which is not available by, by default on archives we can customize its appearance and we can also edit the featured image actually let me enable the excerpt back so you can see that uh, this isn't equal like the image is not the same height uh, by default but we can make it equal using the options here image and content equal height that would give us a nice looking uh, list we can use a different image overlay even use a gradient overlay for example with different uh, blending modes so there are all sorts of different uh, customization options you can uh, choose different um, colors for the um, content the content box the shadow the add border and also customize the uh, post meta there is option to equalize uh, the box content height so if you're using the grid layout it will display a nice looking grid equal um, regardless uh, if the titles are long or short if your images are not the same uh, size you can equalize the uh, grid using the theme customizer settings for toolbox here we can change the default read more button text to anything we like there are also sidebar and sidebar widgets customizations available you can either hide the sidebar completely everywhere but if you choose to keep it you can customize the sidebar widgets uh, using the theme customizer let me save that and now back in the let's actually go back here publish that and refresh the page And now we have additional sidebar options. The sidebar itself, we can remove this border at shadow. We can customize sidebar widgets, the headers, the widgets font. The, we can add a hover effect, an icon on hover to, to links in the sidebar. We can also style the titles, add uh, dividers similar to the footer widgets. We can customize that divider uh, and these sidebar customizations would apply to the default sidebar but can also be added to the sidebar module. Again, if you're using theme builder to display uh, your uh, blog uh, elements. For single posts, we have the option to change the post layout globally. If you're not using the theme builder and you're using the uh, Gutenberg on, or the classic editor to create your post content, you don't have to go to each post to change your um, layout. You can do that globally here. You can also globally hide the title inside each post. And you can add an outer box below the post content the pre, uh, previous and next button that will display the uh, previous and next uh, posts below your content and also related posts section so let's enable these three options and now on the single posts you will see that there is this related posts section and previous and next button as well as the outer box it would display the uh, outer uh, bio from the pro WordPress prof profile and outer name and uh, you can customize the appearance of these elements in the theme customizer. 
the last block related feature is uh, option to customize comments form. So once enabled, you can change the title that shows above the comments and also use the theme customizer to edit the comment form appearance. Let me show you a few different layout examples. Refresh the page. See a nice overlapping layout. Or let's try the grid layout without the sidebar. Lovely. And the last uh, toolbox dashboard section includes different uh, customizations and effects that can be applied to DV modules. So first off, we have the well-known typing effect. Uh, once enabled, all you need uh, is a DTB typing CSS class added to any text module and the paragraphs inside that text module will become a separate uh, strings. If you take a look at the toolbox demo, this is the effect I'm referring to and you can customize the speed, the delay and uh, different settings in the theme customizer. Next we have follow the mouse hover effect and it adds an, a nice hover effect to galleries and portfolio modules. Again, let's take a look at the toolbox demo page. Here's a gallery module and it adds this nice follow the mouse hover effect and it added this nice gradient overlay and you can change the colors of the gradient inside the theme customizer. The 3D tilt effect can be applied to any module without, with a custom CSS class and it adds this nice 3D uh, hover effect like, like this image here or this little blurb here and I have a blog module that uses my uh, DTB blog class to uh, display as a grid and it also has this nice tilt effect. So you can use it on any modules and it uh, has additional uh, customization options to change the um, strength of the effect. You can edit that in the theme customizer as well a new feature to equalize modules height. It's very easy to use. All you need is a CSS class inside the parent container, so a row or a section, and any module of the same type within that container would dynamically have equal height, uh, the same as the tallest one. So for example, the equal testimonials height I, uh, I will enable that option for testimonials modules and save that here. I have added three testimonials on my sample page and now if I refresh, you can see now they are equal height. So uh, it can equalize uh, pricing tables, blurbs or, um, or testimonials and you can define the breakpoint below which the modules will go back to the original height. Next option is slim email uh, opt-in module. So once enabled, you have three different CSS classes uh, you can use to display your email opt-in in line. Let me save that and show you an example. So on my test page, this would be the default uh, opt-in module with two fields and I added a CSS class of slim opt-in2 to that module and now if I refresh it, it would be displayed in line, just like that. And it's uh, fully responsive. If I uh, take a look on the smaller screen sizes, you can see it displays nicely on all devices. The next module customizations apply to bu buttons. So once enabled, you can use a custom CSS class 
the default one or, or any uh, class you choose. And then in the theme customizer, you would have all the button related settings to use uh, that as a secondary type of your default button modules. There is an option to change the uh, default um, map marker uh, image, the pin icon. You can upload your own to match the design of uh, your uh, website. There are also uh, additional uh, little tweaks to uh, modules. You can animate the little triangle uh, arrow icon on the toggle and accordion modules. And also you have the option to move the testimonials portrait image below the content next to the author name. And there is the CSS class. You can add to column to vertically center uh, modules inside that column. Uh, there is also an option to uh, enable parallax scrolling for modules. It works similar to the DV scrolling effects, but in some cases it might be quicker for you to simply add a class to a module. It will change this module scroll speed. So these are all the available settings. And here on the plugin settings page, you have the option to export plugin uh, dashboard settings or the theme customizer options or both. And then you can use that on a, on a new page you built or keep it as a backup. You can use the exported file later to import your settings if uh, needed. I hope that gave you a good understanding on how the plugin works and how it can improve your workflow with the DV team. We have hundreds of satisfied customers and I wanted to thank you all for your kind comments and support. I really appreciate it. And if you're new and thinking about purchasing the plugin, take a look in the video description. You'll find a, a coupon code with a discount. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free uh, to get in touch and I'll see you next time.